Daddy, why are you pulling that out? For those who ain't here. You stay in your neighborhood, keep your people organized, deal with your people. I stay in my neighborhood, deal with my people, keep them organized. When you see me, give me a pass. When I see you, I give you a pass. Hey, Doug. Who is he? Well, his name's Devonte Jones. He was 19. Ran with the East Coast Crips. They called him Little Cartoon. Uh, cars registered to his mother, Dolores Jones. What happened? Well, according to Mr. Lee over there, uh, Devonte pulled in over there, pulls up to the pump, jumps out. Another car pulls in over there, pulls right up to him. Shot him twice in the chest with a 9 mil automatic. And Mr. Lee wants to know what time we'll be through so he can reopen it. Yeah. So what do you think? It's uh, robbery gone bad? No. Nah. They got what they came for. Cross the line here. Oh, come! Oh, come! Hey, whoa, whoa. Hold on, cowboy. 
These guys will kill each other. You think they're going to think twice about shooting us. Yes, my 
my brothers and sisters, you can take everything to the Lord in prayer. For he knows each and every weakness, and he's ready and willing to forgive and extend his mercy to each and every one of us. So you can call him in the morning. You can call him in the evening. You can call him in the noonday. And he's always on the line. He will never forsake you. He will never leave you. He'll always be there when you need him. So you can take everything. I say everything. Can I get a witness here? Everything to the Lord in prayer. Just for a few minutes, I want to focus your minds and hearts to the book of St. John, the 14th chapter and the first three verses. And it reads justly, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. For in my Father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I, I would have told you. For I go away. I say I go away to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And that where I am, there ye may be also. Have I got a witness here? Look, Richard's having a funeral up on 83rd. There's black. Come on, get a gang of folks. Come home sometime, you get your mail and stuff. You ain't gotta be with these niggas 24-7, Daryl. Yeah, hey, mama talking to you, boy. Hear me? Boy, give your mama $20 right quick. Me too. Mm, so much came up here, not to know the letter. Thank you. You better be careful, because niggas getting killed out here. Oh, okay. It's time for y'all to get on with that old janksy shit, all right? I, um, uh, talk to y'all later. I really don't know how all of you remember Devante. I can remember him running up and down the aisles. My mind is slipping. Can I handle it? These I demons on my shoulder got me feeling scandalous. Pull out the clock, blow off the dust. Mad as hell, about to tear shit up. First victim was a buster in the Camry. Rolling with his bitch. I seen him eight inch and terror. His mother and I would talk about getting him back in here, but we have no idea that this would be the way that he would come back. My brothers and sisters, look to the hills which come in your help. All your help comes from the Lord. That's the reason the writer said, let not your heart be troubled. Don't be troubled, but continue to believe in God. Now, I could go on and on, but I won't to remind you that because Jesus died, because he picked up that heavy cross one day and went all the way to Calvary's mountain, and when he got there, they nailed his hand. Bitches, oh my God, I can't stop getting these bitches. Man, chap, the youngest from the gang, this is West Coast, boom, about to let my nuts hang. Bang to the boogie, boogie to the bang, this is West Coast, boom, about to let my nuts hang. Two more clips in my group, so what you wanna do? I got my whole crew. That I would draw all men unto me. Somehow it seems that they made a mistake that the 
Cause when they lifted Jesus up, shit, he like a Frank Nitty. I got my fucking eye on you. In form of C-Lows and snipers in my crew. I be that bad nigga putting the holes in your chest. Blue tips penetrate your bulletproof vest. Huh? What? You bust as strong as CB. Spelling in my combat boots, sturdy. Blood for the redemption of sin and water for baptism. That would cleanse my soul. And then my Jesus and your Lord and my Savior, he died. He died on that cross that day. He died for your sins. He died for my sins. He died for Dante's sin. He died until the world took a hemorrhage and began to shake like an earthquake. He died until the moon refused to shine any longer and he erupted in blood. He died till the sun in the heaven refused to shine. But the story don't stop there. Because he got up one morning, early one Sunday morning. The tomb, the grave couldn't hold him. The stone was rolled away. And my God came out victoriously. Yeah, with all power in his hand. Lord, help me here. Good God Almighty. As I close here, he's so low, you can't go under him. He's so wide, you can't go around him. Come in the door. Am I right about it? I wish I had a praying church here today. Jesus is all right. Fellas, you don't have to worry. Y'all can stop coming to the window. Just hold up everything. Everything's going to be all right. I got you. Brothers, brothers, at least don't go out there. message for the world, for all the brothers in their life with gang bang. Yeah. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. When I was up in there, I was in it to win it. I was in it to where I didn't give a fuck, you know? To where it got to a point I was shooting people for no reason at all. I didn't care who I killed, what I killed. Now here I am, 30 years old. I want to send a message out to y'all that's up in it, to where there's no life in it, fellas. I want to take y'all to 1980, when I done my first drive-by. Okay, I'm in the neighborhood on 127th Street. And I fix, fix, fix up and pick up my buddy Jerm and Uzi Mike. We're going northbound up Normandy, you see. You know, we see some rival enemies going southbound, down Normandy. It's where I got a 32 automatic, you know. And we riding up, you know, we just rolling on up that thing. It's where. I see him, I get off, bow, 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 not thinking what I'm doing. I just get off, bow. So when we go, we on our way to go get us a stick or two. So we roll them, you know. Got to the point now, we come down Vermont. Rolling down Vermont. Boom, I see some more rival enemies to where I get off again. Bow, 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 not thinking what I'm doing. That's the point. That's where now here it is. I come back to the neighborhood, I'm sitting back. Next thing I know, the police come around me. Where here I am now going to jail for attempted murder for something I wasn't thinking about doing. So I shot one person, turned around and shot three more, just not thinking in the life of gang banging. It's no future, fellas. To where here it is, I'm now, I'm in jail here facing 25 to life for something I'm not thinking about doing. I grew up on this street called 127th Street, you know, man? It's from Normandy to West, man. And on this one block alone between Dinker and Hall, there, man, I got five little homies 
stay off that one street, you know? Well, eat me up, man. I'm gonna start with Doc. Doc was, you know, talking with his girl one day. He's standing in the middle of the street. Some guy drive up, shoot him point blank, you know, for no reason at all. Just killed him, well. I say for no reason at all, but I feel gang banging for no reason, man. Really. Then we'll move down the block, man, like one, two, three houses. Got another little homie named Gangster Loke, man. He's coming from taking the homie back, Mike, to the hospital. His baby, his woman just be um, delivering a baby and shit, you know? So he come on his beeper, you know, his little beeper jump off. He stop at the uh, motherfucking uh, phone booth on Vermont. Smoke for no reason at all. Cold thing about it, they went to kill him. They didn't go to bust on him or shoot him. They put a paper bag over the wrist and went to kill him, man. I mean, shot him point blank, and that was another. That's just two. Off of this one block, look. It's just one little block. I ain't talking that whole little block. I'm talking about right here on this one block. Then we just go in. He was still up in, in the gangster low house. Go to the next room. He got a brother named Ace. One of my little homies, man. One guy, you know, he's in the gang, slanging and shit. But this guy owed him ten dollars, man. Ten funky ass dollars. He want his money from this food that owed this money here, you know. So they get a little scuff in the apartments and shit. Ten minutes later, little Ace want to go home get the nine. You see what I'm saying? Go back up to this guy's house. But all along, this was a grown man. This wasn't the kid he was playing with. This was a grown man that went, he went to this grown man's house. This grown man shot one time, shot him in the heart. Bam, that's three. We get the lunatic, you know, that's my little, my baby sister boyfriend. I like this black ass, you know. I like the name, you know, he was kind of wild, disrespectful to his, towards his family and shit like that. But I still love that little black motherfucker. You know, here it is. He was like, when I said my mama house, you know, when I stayed in the neighborhood and shit on 125th Street. And I'm in my mama house, you know, and I'm like in the garage, I had some Sherman, bottle of water, some dipping some sticks and shit, you know. So I like light one up, and I'm talking to Looney, you know, he come out my little baby sister bedroom, I'm talking to him and shit, you know, I'm like, hey man, what you gonna do tonight? He like, man, we gonna go on the six, man, man. Parking him around there. So the next thing I know, he go around there, right? So I happened to crash, me and the homegirl Tracy Wilson, we was like, in the living room, we was talking and shit. So I happened to crash and shit, right? Well, I wake up the next morning, man. I hear my baby sister, just, ah, ah. So I wake up, I say, girl, what's wrong with you? Sean, dead. Boom, oh, fuck me up. Bam, I get up, put no socks on, get up. I walk around to his mama house, you know? And you know, like, Miss Gibson was just, I, I could see it in her. She just hysterical, she just was gone, you know? And he was killed over a jacket.
way my dead homies affected me as well, you know what I'm saying? I feel as though we shouldn't get along with nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, you know, this shit gotta stop, man. This shit ain't no joke, you know what I'm saying? Y'all youngsters out here trying to grow up and hang and bang and do y'all thing. This shit ain't no playground out here, you know what I'm saying? This shit is real. And they gonna take your life whether you know you, whether you grew up with you, on the wrong side of the tracks or not. You know what I'm saying? This shit is way out, man. You know? Take one of my peoples over some bullshit that you growing up and don't even know nothing about. You don't even know who the fuck started this shit, you know? Think about what the fuck you doing before you fuck your life up, man. Cause jail time and shit and all these bullet wounds and just fucking up your whole record and everything, man. This ain't no joke for when you get older in the long run, you know what I'm saying? So before you do something, just think about the consequences you got to take, you know? And, uh, man, be real about it, whatever you're doing. Because another nigga gonna damn sure be real.
Big Fat Rat, West Side Gardena Payback Crip. All my homeboys can introduce themselves too. I'm Mr. Psycho from West Side PBC, 134th Street. Give me up for my dead homies, rest in peace. I'm Lil Droopy Low from Gardena Payback Crip, the foe. Baby Papa Blue from West Side Gardena Payback Crip. Ram and Killer though. Lil Ness Deuce from West Side Payback Crip, the Psycho Killer. Casper Luck, West Side Payback Crip, guy. Notorious Gangster and Luck, West Side Payback Gardena Crip, guy. 129th Street, Psycho Killer Ray Mark Murder. July 187. <laughs> I'm Baby Ness from West Side Payback Crip, 129th Street, Psycho Killer. I'm Lil Debo Loco from Gordina, 134th Street, Payback Crip. Life and it don't stop. Right. Yeah. I'm Big Time Mike from Gordina, Payback, 134th Street, BK all day. Oh, G Bam, 129th Street, Psycho Killer. Clown from Payback Crip from the 9th to the 4th to the 7th. Anybody killer who wants to Payback, white, black, or green, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like they say, there it is. That's everybody. Yeah, I'm a little fit from Westside Payback Crip Gang. You know what I'm saying? Psycho Killer. And everybody else killer. Fuck it. It's into the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, love? Yeah. That's real. Well, it's like this. I'm here. You heard my homeboys give it up. They anybody killers right now. But I'm trying to talk peace to them. You know what I'm saying? On the black race. We need to get this black thing together. You know what I'm saying? We got too much bullshit going on. And uh, we here giving up about our homeboys rest in peace. And I'm sure everybody else got homeboys rest in peace. So uh, need, we need to put that shit aside, squash that shit, you know what I'm saying? And uh, get together, unite, you know what I'm saying? Because there's other races out there. I don't want to name no races because that might mess something up. There's other races out there that's trying to put an end to us, period trying to take over the whole the whole thing, the nation, everything. And uh, my homeboys, they really ain't giving too much of a fuck. You know what I'm saying? They trying to kill blacks, whites, green, Mexicans. It don't matter. You heard them say, because like I said, I'm I'm in the hood every day trying to peace, preach this peace. You know what I'm saying? Because for the very, I'm trying to preach this peace for the very simple fact that uh, the same brothers we catching in the park slipping, the same brothers we catching on Imperial slipping or whatever street we may catch them slipping on, we gon' eventually be fighting back to back with my back against his. I can't be trying to stick him and shoot this man at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So my message to y'all and my message to all my homeboys, whether they be little, baby, OGs, Gs, or what, y'all need to come together and uh, let's do this against this other race, man, because it's finna be like that. All I like to say is... You know what I'm saying? I give thanks to my homeboys, you know what I'm saying? That put in work, that's rest in peace. Homies right here that was on the front line when the war was going down with the Hispanics, you know? Nobody never really, no blacks really never did no, did harm to our hood. Red really never put none of our homeboys in the grave. You know, I was in prison when it all went down. You know, my homie Debo, Lil Ness, Termite, and you know what I'm saying? Everybody right here, you know? That was there on the streets. We ain't gonna say what they done or what they did. You know what I'm saying? Homies that's in jail, that's doing time for that. You know what I'm I just like to say thanks to their moms and everybody, you know. Love y'all, man. Rest in peace, homie. Hey, for the, uh, come here, cuz. For those of you that's the hearing impaired, this is where we from. <laughs> Bardena, California. You can run, but you can't hide from the west side paint back crib.
What's up? My name is Cartoon, and I'm from the 60 Gang. Today, all I got to say to you brothers out there is you had better stop tripping. Too much drama is jumping off between us as a people. And until we get our lives together, everybody gonna get smoked. Everybody. You ain't got no action at winning this war that we about to take place in unless you get your life together and focus your views on the things that's popping in South Central Los Angeles. We the ones that started this drama, now it's nationwide. And if you y'all don't wake up and get it together, you're doomed. That goes for everybody in the town. Everybody in the town. I'm shooting shots out to my homeboy, Morrock, and to Lil Muck, and to Lil Weasel, and to Big Mumbles, and Banker T, and all of my homies who's resting in peace right now. All my homies in lost their lives over a meaningless cause. And until y'all get it straight, it's on and cracking. And ain't nobody too expensive to die. Right here and where we live, and this is a war zone. This is Beirut in 1994, the Southland. South Central Los Angeles is Beirut in 1994. And if y'all don't wake up, you're gonna come up show. Oh. In a six tray Chevrolet, rag top in parlor, top dollar. Got my cousin laid back riding shotgun. Cause I got the front and back hydraulic hot one juiced up. And I'm itching to hit the switches. Crawling over train tracks, avoiding all ditches. Ice skating on the 20 inch tires. Jacked up the ass and flexed the gold dating wires. Now I'm down to take a risk. What's up? Yeah, um, this solo for those who don't know me at all. Uh... All I gotta say is a dead homeboy is a well-respected miss homeboy, you know? And I'm gonna uh, pass it on to my homeboy, Jay. What's up, you know what I'm saying? My name is Jay, Jay, I'm from What's Up. It's like this. My dead homeboy is like a member of a family to me. You know what I'm saying? He's missed and respected. I'm gonna keep it with my homeboy laid back. My homeboy, No Bone. Yeah, it's laid back and... Uh... You have to truly respect the dead, you know? That's right. They're not going to be there all with you all the time. So you know, keep them out of the memory. That's right. Pass it to my cousin Cam. Well, I see.
Dear Pooh Bear, what's up, blood? How life been treating you out there? The nigga ain't got but six months left up in here. I can't wait to go to the hood so we can bick it. Anyway, a nigga like me is on a gangster tip right now. But when I get out, I'm gonna go to school and get some more education, cause we all need that. I got to get with the females and get my money. Damn. A lot of the homies up in here with murder cases. Looking at life or death. As soon as they turn 18, they going from here to the pen. This place ain't nothing nice. That's why when I get out, I'm looking forward, not backwards. Fuck living this life. Hey, Pooh Bear. The homies dropping like flies out there. You be careful and right back soon. Love always, Mr. Solo. P.S. VIP to all the dead homies. Why the good ones gotta go? You know that's my CK machine, don't you? Yeah. Okay, I'm right. mm. What's up? You tell me. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got a letter from my little nigga Solo today, though. Okay, what's yeah. up with him? Yeah, he camp bickin' and shit. Okay. Yeah, he be mumming about uh, Bix Munch. Oh, you need to make a call? No, that's a lot. I'm cool. Uh, you don't want to answer your pages? No, baby, I told you I got to go over there and just come through. Who is that, Daryl? That's the smokers over there on 85. What are you tripping off of? Huh? Nothing. Missed you. I missed you too. You did? Yeah. You don't want to act like it. You love me? Yeah, I love you. You love me? Mm-hmm. Give me my shit, tough. Hello? Who the fuck is this? What? Hey, what did you get on, man? Why you hang up the phone, girl? Why is you tripping? Who the fuck was that? I told you it was a smoker's on 83rd. Why are you always fucking lying? What are you talking about, Doug? No, why you let me talk to the hoe? What hoe? Because you know it's that bitch or Shonda. <laughs> I don't even fuck to, with that bitch. You need to quit that shit, all right? Fuck hey, it, I just call what, a man? bitch back. Fuck it, man. I'm gone, man. You tripping. Where the fuck you think you going, 
girl? I told you I'm going on 83rd. You lying. I ain't. I'm gonna go make some money. When you think you coming back? I don't know. Just keep your ass in the house. I'll be right back. Blood, I ain't made a sale all motherfucking day, man. Slow around this motherfucker. Let's go around 78. Side, Campanella Port, Pyro, you know, uh, been, you know, doing this here type of lifestyle since I was about 13 years old, you know, and uh, been through the penitentiary systems, all the little juvenile system, five years, six years in the state, you know, and uh, I'm just going to kick a little something. Everybody want to know why people bang, why people kill, why people do this, sell dope, and uh, you, you can't just look at the individuals because, you know, you have to look at the environment that they set in that uh, creates these conditions for them to have to live and do the things that they do. And uh, so we just kicking it like that. You know, we ain't out here essing on our chest, but you know, it's like everybody out here want to be a tough guy, killer, a gangster, you understand? But uh, most of the killers and gangsters I know either got all day or dead. 
So everybody out here just living. So, you know, we're kicking it from that perspective. It's 40 ounces, Campanella Park, you know what I'm saying, Power Rule, West Side Power Rule all the time. You know what I'm saying, P-Funk, you know what I'm saying, blood in general, because I respect all blood, you know what I'm saying, and any man, you know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying, I just got out of jail, you know what I'm saying, a couple of ways, this is juvenile, you know what I'm saying, for you youngsters, get out, you know what I'm saying, walking down the street, you know what I'm saying, going over my girl house, we begging for a minute, you know what I'm saying, go to McDonald's, get something to eat and shit, you know what I'm saying, on the way back, dump her off at the house, I bail down the street, you know what I'm saying? Some fool on a bike, you know what I'm saying? Walking on a bike, I'm thinking it's my homie on my bike, you know what I'm saying? I run up to him, what's up, homie? Woo -woo. He shot me in the neck, bam, I break and shit, you know what I'm saying? Shot me up, you know what I'm saying? But niggas survive, you know what I'm saying? It's still, you know what I'm saying? I'm right here today, you know what I'm saying? Living for you youngsters, you know what I'm saying? And if y'all wake up, you know what I'm saying? To be a better place where we need y'all. Well, I'm speaking out there for the young soldiers out there, you know? I've been through a lot of shit, you know? Mom's doing bad, I'm doing bad. I'm surprised I'm living right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to y'all, you know. I lost homies, all kind of shit, you know. Lost one of my homies doing the rise over some stupid shit. You know, one of my best friends right now in jail. Big, big homie Goo, you know, he's doing 27 years. For robbery, we was out there wild, buck wild, like five. We was doing five to ten robberies a day, all kind of bullshit. You know, G-Rod stealing. You know, these fucking motherfuckers up on the side. But, you know, I'm just telling you right now, it's time to slow that shit down. It's 94. Niggas out here getting popped quicker than you know. Your mama, your family getting died. Everybody getting killed. They don't give a fuck who you are. If they can't find you, they'll get your family. You know, I'm just telling you right now, you know, this shit ain't no joke. They call me G20. I'm from Ashport. Yeah. I start banging, you know, my pops, Big Mouse, you know. Me and my twin brother, it's like, my twin, he been through a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? He almost got killed. He got like a cross five from the 40, but well, other bloods don't, you know what I'm saying? Niggas big, niggas getting high, whatever, drinking, partying. And, uh, you know, it's like other bloods, they get into it. It's like the homies, niggas just come out with straps, start shooting. My brother, he gets shot in the chest, both his legs, you know what I'm saying? He on the ground, but he rolling over, but they steady shooting at him, but they must be bloods. It's like, you know what I'm saying, that shit is all crazy. He almost lost his life, that shit. I'm locked up, though. I can't do nothing about it, you know what I'm saying? But I can feel it, you know what I'm saying, with my twin brother. It's like, every time something happened to him, I know. It's like, I just feel it, because I'm a twin, you know what I'm saying? It's all crazy. But, you know, niggas need to come up, wake up, you know what I'm saying? Look at yourself. got to be down you know we all must be down with the hood and stay down with the hood well you know i'm a for real believer in that you know so i'm always stay down for my hood and be for real with my set you know but i look at it like this here i'm not gonna sit out here and try to think of what to say only thing i can do is just ask the lord to bless me forever come out of my mouth to be natural so only thing i can say to the people and the young brothers out there that's coming up today to call themselves on a the bang and all that kind of shit i mean i got dead homies you know what i'm saying i know we all got dead homies but look at this here I did six years out of 11 years in Folsom Penitentiary, you know what I'm saying? And I prayed every night that I'd be able to make it, be able to come out here and live just to be with my family and shit, you know? I look at a lot of brothers today, they want to run around, run around here with something on their chest, trying to impress the other homeboys and all that kind of shit. Only thing I can say, man, just try to be a real man and be your own man, you know what I'm saying? But don't never neglect your set, you know what I'm saying? But it's the way you do it, and you do it with style, you know? Like me, for instance, right? I got out, I've been out two years now, you know? I'm not going to try to make a long list of things that I didn't did constructive or something like this here, but one thing I can say, you know, I feel good about my life now as a person, you know, as a black man first, you know. I'm always love my hood and I'm always remember where I came from, you know, but I look at it like this here. You, you got to be happy with yourself. You got to live with you. You got to be happy and content about who you are as a person, you know. You can't go around and you confront on other people and try to be hard and perpetrate all that kind of BS, you know what I'm saying, but deep down in heart, you know what's happening with you as a man, you know what I'm saying. So anything I can say is like this here. Like I say, some of my homeboys today, 
They land up somewhere, you know what I'm saying, six feet dead, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna never be able to see life again, you know? The one is dead, they family running around here, their kids running around all loose and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So the only thing I can do as a black man is get my life together, be able to come back down in the neighborhood and make a contribution to the younger ones that's come up today. I want to be able to sit down with them and tell them what life has been about for me, you know? Right now I go to college. I got me a job, you know, I ain't making much. I'm making like $7.12 an hour. I mean, some people call that peanuts. But I still feel good about myself knowing that I can do something with my life. They always say the odds are against us. Yeah, the odds going to be against us, but it's gonna, what, what can you do? What are you going to try to do? Are you just going to accept that and just say the odds are against me? No, don't say that, man. If anything, man, get yourself together. Get your life together, man. Stop all that perpetrating and try to front, you know what I'm saying? Me, I love the Nixon Gardens, you know what I'm saying? I love for what it taught me and shit, you know what I'm saying? It taught me a lot about myself, and most of all, it made me for real man, you know what I'm saying? And I don't care what nobody say. All that shit trying to be hard and shit and just keep a strap and shit, the strap what a motherfucker needs to keep is in his mind. That's the strap. The, the gap what you need to have is in your mind. And how you gonna make it out in life and society today? And what it's gonna take to, 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 to go over and challenge these obstacles? But like I say, all I want to do is just be myself, be a black man, and take care of my family and be responsible and better be able to come back into, in my neighborhood and say, look, you know what I'm saying? I know what it's about, homeboy. Huh, I want to be able to take some of the younger brothers and stuff, you know what I'm saying, go to parks or something, kick back, or sit down and we can talk and stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of us black men today, yeah, we game bang, but let's game bang. Let's be the, let's get it, let's be the, our leader. Let's be our leader in our household first. Take care of our families, you know what I'm saying? Set example for our younger ones today, you know what I'm saying? Show them what life is about, you know? Not come out here and try to perpetrate and put a strap in our pockets or something to go around here and try to kill the next man because he, 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 got, he got this color car or something. Or he might have a blue car. Or he might have, you know what I'm saying, a red car. Whatever the situation may be, be a leader in your household first before you come out here and then fake about talking about I'm from this hood or something like that. Be a hood for your family first, you know what I'm saying? For me, it wasn't like no peer pressure thing, you know why? I'm just jumping on a bandwagon, I'm gonna do this because all the homeboys doing it. My thing is like, you know, uh, growing up in a certain neighborhood, you have altercations with people that grew up on an, uh, another part of a certain neighborhood, and you grow up, and you, you know it's affiliation through association. And then coming up with that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just, my mama just happened to have her house on the side where the red team was at. So there it is right there. And in doing that, you know, you, you growing up, uh, doing everything out in the streets, the murder, money, violence, the sex, and uh, the out of town, going out of town with the doing your work and all of this, all, it's, that's all been done, you know what I'm saying? It's 94, you gotta have a new twist with things. You know, I did a year juvenile, you know what I'm saying? Four and a half years in the state penitentiary. You know, I done been to damn near all of them, Folsom, Quentin, Solid Dad, you know, uh, Jamestown, Solano, Vacaville, you know, on tour. So as far as like uh, all the negatives I've seen, now as a, in my life at this point, I'm making a transition to do positive things and, and to, you know, uh, uh, try to alleviate a lot of the bullshit that's going on out here with the streets with these youngsters that ain't knowing, you know, they don't know that these uh, white folks got a play for them for the rest of their life. They might not never even see their neighbor and be in a penitentiary five, ten years and never even see the person next to them in the next cell because they got places for them with these drive-bys, automatic weapons, everything that's going on out here, the dope, you know. Uh, they want to give us all day for catching two or three ounces hard. And you know what I'm saying? They catch John DeLorean with a hundred keys and a camera to give him a smack on the hand so you see what's going on. So you got the, you know what I mean, peep game and just, you know, stay above water. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... With the Crips and the Bloods and this truce and all this, you know, I didn't participate with the truce because I didn't feel like it was being put down right. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to be drinking and hanging out with you to kick it with you. You understand? I, you stay in your neighborhood, keep your people organized, deal with your people. I stay in my neighborhood, deal with my people, keep them organized. When you see me, give me a pass. When I see you, I give you a pass. But all this old we on hang out and all that, I still think, you know, we need to go through some more steps and levels before we get to that point. Because I don't think everybody be sincere about, you know what I'm saying, putting this gang thing behind us. And I know a lot of people been killed behind it, a lot of lives been taken, you know what I'm saying. But my thing be like this. People want to be gangsters, they want to put work in, want to do this, but you can go around the corner and just shoot up three or four black men, the sheriff get behind you, you got two AKs in a car, four tech nines, you know what I'm saying, ten pistols, and they tell you to freeze your stop. You understand? They only two individuals with two guns. You didn't went, just went and shot four or five blacks up. 
but you but you but you freeze when they tell you. I'm saying if you're a gangster, <laughs> sell the ranch, grandma, grandpa, the chickens, everything. If you if you're going out with bullets and gun smoke, don't just stop with yours. You understand me? Deal with deal with it on that level if that's what you're doing. If you're not, get out the way. Let somebody else that is. Quit perpetrating. Hey, we 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 do a thing. It's called respect. You know what I'm saying? We don't be getting caught out of pocket in another nigga neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? And then wonder why they killed us and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Man, you know that's just dumb shit. You stay out of stay out of the other nigga's neighborhood. You ain't got to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Cause the the, the banging thing ain't gonna never cease. You know, it's going to always be neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying? It might get cooled down, but as long as these white people still alive and you got these sheriffs and all this running around, it's going to always be on, because they can keep some shit stirred because up. Because it's, it's <laughs> gangs. That's, That's right. It's gangs. Political gangs. You got street gangs. You got women gangs. You got gangs. Man, you can go the Senate, the county, man. The Senate is a gang. Now, if one of the Senate gets smoked, they lost a dead homie. You know, for sheriffs, they lost dead. They got dead homies. Everybody got dead homies. Fuck it, it's a big gang war. You know what I'm saying? Dead homies. That's right. Dead homies. It's fucked up. They gotta be dead. It's fucked up. We gotta do this to to appreciate them. We could appreciate them while they was living. You know what I'm saying? We could have did a documentary then. It's fucked up, man. But it's not just the homies. It's some people that don't even know what's going on just dead right now because of the homies. Like, for instance, a little incident happened in my neighborhood one night. We kicking it. A car drove by, and we threw up our signs to the car or whatever, and the car just stopped for a minute and took off, came back around the corner, and at the same time, my uh, homeboy auntie was walking down the street, and she got, like, a little afro back then, so she looked, you know, kind of masculine or whatever you want to how you want to put it and they jumped out and they start shooting at us and we ran and they shot her in the stomach she doesn't even know what's going on she just got caught in a twist we come out the hiding spaces and stuff and where we was at ducking and whatever and she laying on the ground stomach wide open and i'm like damn this you know what i'm saying it's not just the dead homies it's anybody man and that's what i don't like that's really what i don't like it could be the little kids and the girls and the grandmamas and all this, they don't have to be involved in this. They don't even know what time it is. It's a lot of punks. Punks pull the trigger every day. It ain't no, up to, a man to me is a man that'll come from here. When you in the street, a lot of punks, anybody can pull the trigger. So I don't have no respect for them. That's what I say about my dead homies. For the P-Funk all the motherfucking time. Mella.
Okay, why don't you guys step into my office? This won't take but a second. All right, just have a seat. All right, by procedure, I have to go over this document with you two, all right? Okay, is 8 o'clock tonight okay? That'll be more than enough time. Now, understand, absolutely no liquor, no cigarettes, or no alcohol. You gotta understand, Miss Young, this furlough is a trust between you and I. If he violates in any way whatsoever, it goes back to the court, it's out of my hands, it's up to the judge. You got it? Yes. You got it? You understand that, all? Yeah. All right. Okay, just sign right down here. Austin, you sign right there. You can go pay your last respects to your brother. cops at all, just show them that, and prove that you're not a raw. all right? Nice meeting you, Ms. Young. Thank you very much. Alden, see you tonight, 8 o'clock. All right. All right, good luck.
At this time, we will have a few remarks coming from the Arte, Noah. James Young was born November 28, 1973, in Miami, Florida. He was the second of three children. Family moved to family moved to LA in 1976. He attended East Athens and McKinley Elementary School. Watson Middle School and Corporate High School. He was interested in sports. He liked to play basketball and football. He accepted Christ at an early age. He attended Glorified Church in Christ. Still met an untimely death. He is survived by his mother, Darlene Young, and his sister, Shonda Young, a brother, Alton Smith, grandmother, Ida Bell McGee from Atlanta, Georgia, one nephew, Kenneth Roll, and a girlfriend, he has 14 aunts and nine uncles. And a lot of other families and friends. Daryl, we all love you. And we miss you. Oh, God, do we miss you. We miss you so. <laughs> we miss you so much, Daryl. Jesus. Now we will have some remarks coming from Reverend Williams, the pastor of the First Antioch Baptist Church. Pastor Williams. I've been in every penitentiary in the state of California. I've smoked, I've shot, I've snorted every drug that there is. In the words of the Reverend Jesse Jackson, it ain't nothing new for God to speak through imperfect people. I found God while laying in a hospital bed with 14 knife wounds. He gave me back my life. He took my 10-year-old boy instead. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Yes, Lord. The Bible says the Lord will come like a thief in the night. Well, on this particular night, he came looking just like you guys. In a speeding car, shooting at some guys hanging out. Missed every last one of them and hit my boy right through his eye. They say he never knew what hit him. But I know, and you know, and that's why I've got to warn you. Because you might not see tomorrow if you keep up this madness against yourself and against your people. Some of you may think it's revenge or self-defense, 
But it's nothing more than ever revolving cycle of death, genocide. We've got to come together and deal with this problem. And stop letting the other kind, the white man, deal with it. Because you know how they deal with it. They sell you space in a big yard to bury one in. And they lock the other one up like an animal. <laughs> they call it justice. But I call it killing two birds with one stone. Let me remind you what the most clearest and simplest of those ten great commandments is. Thou shall not kill. Yes. God said that. He didn't say thou shalt not kill unless you are blood. He didn't say thou shalt not kill unless you are a crip. He said thou shalt not kill. <laughs> you know, what tickles me is everything that you believe in, this thing that you will kill or you will die for, it isn't even yours. Your hood? I spoke with some gang members from Inglewood and the Freeway Project came in and tore their hood down and moved them somewhere else. Another thing that puzzles me is how come everybody benefits from gang banging but gang bangers? You go to the Koreans at the swap meet to get your khakis, your t-shirt, your tennis shoes, and your hats. The media is guaranteed a story. The hospitals stay full. The march words are making a killing, pardon the expression. The police are cleaning up in overtime. You see, they don't want you to stop doing what you're doing as long as you kill each other and stay in your own neighborhood. But the minute that you step out of bounds and threaten one of them, in comes the National Guard and everybody else. And through the newspaper and the television, they make you big men. Oh, but when they make you, they want to make you for them, not for yourself or your people. They want to make sure that you use your influence in a proper way. They use our own natural desire to be in a group. Then they feed us guns and make us kill each other. So the homeowners, they flee the neighborhood and they bought up more and more homes. Then the developers come in and they develop the properties for white people. They take us and move us out to the suburbs so they can take back the city and the power in the city. But you don't hear me, though. You've got to stop worshiping these streets and avenues and start worshiping yourselves and your people. If we have cultural unity, we have everything. I know you miss your dead homies. I miss my dead homies too. But if we keep this up, we'll just keep filling up the graveyards and the jail houses. And that's exactly what they want us to do. You know, the Lord wants to set us all free. We all got some kind of problem that we just can't seem to get rid of. We just can't seem to shake it. But I guarantee you that if you pray and if you praise God and if you study his word, whatever it is, he will unshackle it from your body. Oh, Father, everybody in this audience wants to submit to you, Father. 
into your spirit. Let them know that you are in control at all times so that they can praise you when they are winning and they can praise you when they are losing. You young men, I talk to you today. May you all come up here, stand up. Come up here and receive prayer. Because you got burdens on your heart. You got problems in your lives. This is the answer. Just praise God. Come on up, brothers. It's the best thing you can do with your lives. Just praise God. The answer is now come on up. I'm talking to you. You, you, I'm talking to all of you. Stand up now. Do something positive with your lives. It's time to set these guns down. It's time to let go and let God. Come on up, brothers. There is an open gate at the end of the road through which each must go alone. And there is a light we cannot see of a father claims as his own. Beyond the gate, your loved ones find happiness and rest and comfort in the thought that a loving God knows best. It has become our sad duty at this time to commit Brother Darrell young, body to the grave, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, and earth to earth, and our inspiring duty to believe that one day God shall bring about the resurrection of this body from the grave. Amen. Because when you hold me down, you hurt you. My only true home man was a victim of a homicide. Another fool is gonna have to pay the price, yeah. But I grew up being told killing people was really bad, yeah. Oh, oh. But you really don't care about that when you're mad and sad. But God bless my soul, I'm have to do sometimes. But I had to do something to kill the pain. Cause when you hold me down, it hurts ya. Mm -hmm. It hurts ya. It hurts ya. Cause when you hold me down, it hurts ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It hurts ya. You grow up in the city, not really giving a fuck about in that. But your next broad and your next pin that, like that, but we were still listening since that. Moving plenty, and we're meant to last insane. For the way we kicked our rhymes to the liquor we drank. So you know when I found out my homeboy died. Oh, it hurt you. All I could think about was revenge as the 
out your mind of that bullet in his head it makes you feel like i should have been there for him at the time but now i can't go on it's just in my mind until i was able to figure out that we still a unit and everything about our music is blood we rolling on these niggas tonight man fuck that shit all that old bullshit it's your time nigga it's your time i'm driving blood you know what I'm gonna fuck you up every time I, I see know, you, you if you don't like down. I know, you gotta act like a bitch, nigga. Them niggas killed your brother, nigga. Nigga, your brother gone. I'll fuck you up every time I see you. Fuck, fuck that shit every tonight, man. Bro. We ain't got to do all that. We go, we go, we go, go, nigga. Fuck that shit, man. We go, you be a man, nigga. This is for the set, nigga. This is for the set, blood. Who the fuck car we gonna use, man? Don't sweat that. Don't sweat that. Don't worry about it. Fuck. As soon as we leave, we're gonna steal what? I'm gonna be up in
long time. Right there, motherfucker. Don't look at him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's
I ain't been in the hood that long, but um, I got much love for my homies that's out there kicking it, drinking beer, pouring it out for my homies that's resting in peace. He's my nine, I'm his nine. Everywhere we go, we carry our peace. We don't leave home without it, like American Express. I'm scared to do some freestyle. I'm scared to do some freestyle. Blow. I'm too high and I might go off tempo, but now I'm back to let the...